What's up guys? I'm out with my friends Mark, Jamie, and Chris. And this video is going to be about just a, a few simple things while fishing that make the fishing better, more productive, and less stressful. Uh, one of those things will be, you know, proper netting. Whenever anyone's hooked up, you'll see me run and grab the net and I will move over to the left of the person or right depending on where the fish is coming in. If the fish is coming in from, from the right, as you see here, uh, I will move to the left and allow the angler to bring the fish to me into the net. Uh, it's one of the most basic things you can do to make sure you, you have no problem getting that fish in the boat. These fish, it's about six and a half, seven, man. They're there. That's nice. That's a real nice one. That's easy, six and a half. Whoa! Whoa, bro! Oh, that's a fish. So you'll notice me fishing here in the middle of the guys, uh, and it was a pretty strong current, nothing too crazy, but we happen to have a lot of tangles this day, and uh, most of the tangles were on my line, unfortunately, about seven times. You got him? Alright, good fish. Nice, nice. Alright, let me pull up again. Mark's got a good one. Mark's got a real good one. The raw water, raw water. Raw water. Yes. I know, I can tell. Raw water. It says raw water on it. It says so typically when there's a really good fish on like this one here, this is about nine pounds, eight and a half pounds, this fish. I, I'll reel up completely, get my line right out. I was trying to help Fal find the raw water switch. He was having issues. I reeled up about halfway. I shouldn't have done that and, and went over Jamie and put my rod down. Uh, this created one of the tangles. Are we still going? I know, it's a good big fish. Is that the white grip? So Jamie's line ends up getting tangled into Mark's line and then pulls my line in as well. Now, the mistake he makes here, he keeps letting line out. You, you, the more line you let out, the more you're going to cross over someone, and that's something you never want to do, which actually happens quite a bit on this trip and on the Viking Star trip when he was having issues feeling bottom. When a boat's swinging due to the anchor and the wind, you have to keep lifting in periodically to bounce your sinker along, to move along with the boat. If you let your sinker sit there, your line will end up crossing another person's line, which is what happened over and over again. And good fish. Oh, whoa. <laughs> wow, what a monster. That's about nice. nine pounds. <laughs> So you notice our rod tips pointing next to each other. Now I'm jogging over. See me bouncing up, up, and bouncing over left away from Mark. I'm telling Mark, what are you doing? Keep your rod away from mine. We're going to tangle. And sure enough, it happens. You went over here. What are we doing? See, look, you're aiming your rod toward me. Is that so we're going to get tangled. you got to keep it that way. Listen, I, I'm, I'm not tangling anybody. You're, you're, you're getting tangled all day over here. I got no more yeah, use for this guy. Well, I'm, I'm paying attention. I know that much. I had mine out. Obviously, I'm paying attention 45. too. Yeah, uh, about five seconds ago, someone was staring at their phone, talking about paying attention. <laughs> oh God, you can't make it up. <laughs> then you hear everybody up in arms, all in defense. Nobody can be wrong. Nobody can admit guilt. No, you got me. Told you. Yeah. Cause you point your rod that way. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Yep, it is. That's a real good one. That's another big one. Oh yeah. Pull mine out. Alright. Coming up. Coming up. With all the other tangles, I pulled my line completely out of the water this time. When drifting for fluke or anything else, you, you know, two people on the boat, you can get away with 10 cranks off the bottom and leaving your rod and rod holder. Not with this many people on the boat. Uh, all right, Mark, I'm on your left, so. All right, I got you. I'm just trying to here. Don't bring them up out of the water. Very Swing your rod toward me. Right on top. Holy moly. Swing your rod toward me. Bring him up, bring him up, bring him up, bring him up. Nice. Good one. Good fish. 
so at this point, I got my rod in between the engines. I'm just freaking trying to hide from these guys after seven tangles on my line alone and probably a dozen for the whole boat for the day. Low current over here. Once it slows down. I think I lost my bait. Oh. Yeah. oh. Okay. Oh. There's a keeper. Oh, it's a keeper. So one of the big things I looked at when I checked out a bunch of boat manufacturers when I ordered my boat was the stern design. Having to fish over two engines is, is difficult, but also when you have a big fish box behind the engines, I mean, it, my, my tip barely gets to the back of the engines. And uh, with the new boat, which I can't wait to get, you literally can drop your line anywhere around that boat right in front of you, not even, you know, 20 inches away from you.